Right, so uh, I've been to um, a place called uh, RWS Motors and I picked up some uh, parts uh, uh, inner tube for the front tire that uh, coming on the bike it's uh, over there and uh, also uh, brake pads new brake pads and this too uh, is coming on uh, right now today because that's uh, one of the um, the things that had me uh, that has been a bit uh, like an emergency especially the the real one so i'm gonna change that and i'm gonna make a youtube video about it um, where i uh, uh, go through how to do it uh, and um, uh, also uh, hopefully the, the front brake today and it shouldn't be a very long job maybe uh, 15 20 minutes or so yeah uh, but first of all i'm gonna clean uh, this part of the bike uh, up a little bit uh, since i've been doing quite a bit of riding lately so and kind of um, not cleaning it properly uh, afterwards so uh, to make it a bit uh, nicer to uh, work with i'm gonna start to do the cleaning I've cleaned it up and uh, actually I haven't done this uh, on this bike before so I had to um, check the, the owner's manual about this and it seems like uh, there's no need for uh, me to take the like the brake calipers off uh, but you can just pull this uh, pins out and pull the, the big pin uh, out from the back and then um, pull the, the brake pad out and uh, replace it with the, with the new one and I also think that uh, um, this this brake pad should be pretty worn out so the, the piston here in the in the caliper it should be pretty far out so I need to push it in and uh, by that uh, the pressure in the brake line is going to uh, um, get higher and uh, so I also need to open up the fuel um, the, the brake uh, fluid container here to uh, let the, the, the overpressure come out here so and I'm also going to clean everything up in here uh, as good as I can uh, without taking the, the calipers off because uh, I can almost feel uh, like this some kind of like dirt and sand in there so I need to get in with some brake cleaner and uh, flush that out Yeah. That's pretty bad. There's like just steel here. It's perfect. Really good job from my side. That's enough. There's a little space here. Let's see about it. I 
like that. Need to be a little bit careful about the where you push the piston in. Be careful about the, the brake this, but it shouldn't be any problem to apply a little force. Anyway, now it's in. There's a it's two pistons here. That. Now you can see it kind of overflows a little bit here because I pushed the uh, both pistons in. It's a bit more cleaned up. So I just push this in. So what? Um, uh, what was going on with the, the brake pad here was that uh, I hadn't uh, pushed. Uh, like the second uh, brake piston in uh, as far as I needed. So now it's just gonna slide on like this. Hopefully. No. Like that. Doing things with just one hand is a bit tricky. Like that. So now I have uh, changed the uh, the pads and uh, gonna seal this up, make it tight, and then I'm gonna put the, the pins back here and uh, uh, try it out. Uh, No, it shouldn't be like that, it should be like this. A quick recap. First, clean uh, everything out, then pull uh, the, the locking pins off, then uh, pull uh, the big pin out, then pull the uh, brake pads out, the old ones, then open container to be able to uh, push the uh, pistons in, then pull, uh, push the pistons in, then put uh, uh, the new pads in, then put the big, pi uh, big pin in, then uh, uh, this uh, locking pins, then 
close container, then test if the brake works, and if it does, you're done. Anyway, uh, that's uh, how uh, I changed the brake pads. I think I did it uh, uh, according to the owner's manual, so uh, if uh, uh, someone uh, is a bit uh, like a beginner on this, check the manual. But I think I did it accordingly. Uh, and uh, um, I did this uh, somewhat uh, like uh, thoroughly with uh, uh, some cleaning and stuff like that. Uh, but I guess you can uh, do this uh, on the side of the road in uh, five minutes or so if you need to. If you're doing a lot of traveling and uh, haven't uh, changed your brake pads before you uh, uh, left home. I don't know why you uh, should be a pretty long journey if you uh, need to bring your brake pads with you. But anyway, everything can happen.